Hello. Hello, Nolan. You got me. Oh, hey, Nolan. It's uh, it's Roy. I live down the street from you. Oh, yes. Yep, and uh, I noticed uh, those Halloween decorations in your yard. Yes. And they look really similar to the ones that were stolen from my yard last year. No, sorry about your luck. I've yeah. had them for years. Oh, I don't know, because they sure look just like the ones that someone stole from me. Are you sure you guys weren't, you know, coming to my yard and stealing my decorations? <laughs> Well, why don't you come and see me? No, I don't. I don't need to steal. What is your problem? Well, I don't know. It just seems really suspicious that you have the exact same decorations that were stolen from me last year, buddy. Uh, these decorations were given to me by my next door neighbor ten years ago. Oh, a likely story. I don't story. know where you've been. I've been here for thirty years. Oh, I've been here for. Oh, that doesn't mean you can steal my decorations. I've only been here for ten. I didn't steal your. Crap. Hello. Hey, Nolan, I was just kidding earlier. I'm actually with the water company. Fuck you. You've done pissed me off. Oh, no, no. I'm, just, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be doing some work on your yard. No, you're not. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, we got to do some work on your water pipes. We're upgrading the pipes and getting... Not out. in my yard. Well, no, no. I'm saying because you have all those Halloween decorations up, we're not going to make you take them all down. We're going to dig underneath and go from, from the bottom to get to your pipes. I don't like the way you're handling any part of this, pal. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not us- I don't usually do customer service. I usually just work on the pipes. Well, you've but, got a bad fucking attitude. Well, don't yell at me, Jesus. Uh, I, we're just we're gonna dig a hole in the street out in front of your house. No, we'll- you you call me and accuse me of stealing something, and now you want to do something in my yard? Kiss my ass! I was just trying to lighten the mood. Normal people. That's all. Use telephones to call people. They don't obsess over them. Get a life phone, loser. We've been trying to call you, and your name is Roy. What is your last name? It's on the show, Bell. So I'm being right called on the telephone. Yeah, just write that. You know what? I think you better take uh, a pill and smoke another funny cigarette and shove it up your ass. Don't you ever call this number again. I know that the phone's not a toy. I just got a call from a Roy. The number shows up and it's spoof. Says he's at my house replacing my roof. Man, this guy's a jerk for this. I just rushed home, left work for this. No one's at my house on my roof. This Roy guy, what a goof. We just made a non-sweet pool and the landlord says not cool. Not on the lease, my name's Roy Shervell. Unit 203, I'm a tenant from hell. There's a tunnel system attached. Found a secret hatch. Don't get smart with me, and I'm tight. This is now an archaeological dig site. guys what you doing this is rbcp and you're listening to the snowplow show for october 30th 2017 i think this is episode 409 but i don't know for sure probably though today's brand new intro song that was uh, sent by a listener named brandon he says he's a long time listener of the show so thank you brandon i don't know if he intended it as an intro song but that's what i'm using it as i guess i could just throw that in anywhere though really 
Today's show is sponsored by Gobi, or I think I'm supposed to say Gobi Gobi, or Gobi Gobi Gobi, or maybe just Gobi, I don't know, but thank you, Gobi, for supporting this episode of the Snowplow Show through the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. You know how I was talking about um, PLA playing cards, I think, in the last episode of this show, or maybe that was a hobo, so I don't know, but anyway, Don Fickles has designed a set of PLA playing cards. And they are now available at the PLA store at zazzle.com slash phone losers. That's a site where you can get a bunch of phone losers stickers and also apparently decks of cards. He's created actually two decks. He made one that was red and one that was blue. So they look official and stuff. And I've already ordered a set for myself. They're supposed to cost $10, but they gave me a coupon code like Zazzle always does. And that took, I think, $4 off, maybe five. I know even five bucks is a lot to pay for a deck of cards. But I swear, it's all going to Zazzle. It's not me. I'm just getting my 5%, which they forced me to take. I can't help it. They make me do it. So I'll put a link to both of the decks of cards in the show notes if you want to go there and look at those. Thank you, Don Fickles. Don Fickles, he's the same guy. He's from Clownsec. He's the one that made the 2017 PLA coins. And he does pretty good design work. The cards look great. So go take a look. The link is in the show notes. I'll also put a link in there to Clownsec. Because if you like the PLA coins, you should get a clown set coin to go along with it. Clown set coins, that's the new PLA coin. Everybody's getting one. People are still sending me pumpkins carved with PLA images. So if you take a look at the show on phonelosers.com, you'll see in the show art that there is yet another pumpkin in there. I think I'm going to have too many pumpkins to put on all the shows. I'm probably going to be putting pumpkins on shows all through November or something. So thank you, everyone, who's wasted your pumpkin by carving PLA stuff into it. I was probably able to alienate you from your families even further than you already were. You're welcome for that. Yep. Okay, let's get started with the show after this quick word from our sponsor. Totally our sponsor. I'm not making this up at all. This week, the case of a troubled youth. It started with one innocent weekend call. The next thing Joe Guthrie knew, he couldn't stop dialing. College friends, high school buddies. It got so bad, he even called his parents. His crime? Joe didn't take advantage of Sprint's new offer to split the cost of his calls all weekend long. If you know Joe or anyone like him, call now and turn them in. Trust me, they'll thank you for it later. I'm going to try and do some Halloween calls. Sunshine was telling me about this uh, story she read about these parents of a kid who is allergic to peanut butter. And, and they I guess they went around town maybe and put flyers up on doors telling the entire neighborhood that their son is allergic to peanut butter and that they should not buy any candy that has any peanut butter for any kids, which seems dumb. I mean, just have your kid trade with the other kids. What's the big deal? Just get rid of the peanut butter stuff later or tell them at the door. Say, hey, do you have anything that doesn't have peanut butter in it? I mean, I haven't read the story. It's probably like for some three-year-old or something. But whatever. I'm pretty sure they're being unreasonable. But I'm going to start with that. I'm going to call up someone and tell them no peanut butter unless they like murdering my child. Hello? Hi. Um, Mrs. Kircher? Yes? Hi. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm one of your neighbors. Yes? And, you know, we're going to be doing trick-or-treating tomorrow. Our kids are going to be around... And my yes. son, my son's allergic to peanuts, so could you not buy any candy with peanuts? I've already bought my candy, so I can't tell you for sure what, her, what, what I have Well, you right need now. to take it back. Take it back immediately, because my son's allergic to peanuts. You don't want to kill a kid. Just, do- don't come to our house. Well, no, we're, we got to come to all the houses. Don't tell us not to come don't to your house. Don't come to our house, then. I cannot take it back. I got it over a week ago. You better take it back. So, my kid's allergic to bye. peanuts, lady. Wow, don't come to our house. This lady hates children. I'm calling off of a list that Roland gave me here a while back, and he wanted me to do True Green calls, so maybe I'll throw some True Green calls in there, too, because he told me this would be a perfect list for True Green calls. But it seems like the whole Halloween thing's working out so far with the one call I've made. Hello, this is Mike. Hey, Mike. uh, This is Steve Dave. I'm a neighbor of yours down the street on Briar Rose. Yes, sir. And, um, hey, we're going to be trick-or-treating on 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 the street, you know, tomorrow night, and my kid's allergic to peanuts, so make sure you don't hand out anything with peanuts for anyone. Oh no, no worries, I wouldn't do that anyway. But uh, this year, I'm actually going to be away with my uh, great nephews. Oh, oh, so you want to get trick or treating in a in a different neighborhood? So you want to you want to get your house toilet papered and egged and stuff? I see, I see how you are. Well, I've been there for 15 years. I'm usually very good about it. Yeah, usually, but not this year. This year, you're not even going to give us anything? Can't you just, like, set out a bowl with no peanuts? 
Uh, I probably can. Um, which address are you? Uh, I'm just down the street a bit, down, you know, like 20 houses or so down to the east. Gotcha. Yep. Can you set out like an extra big bowl? Can we take more than one? Um, I'm, I'm confused. What was your name again? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. You, you know who I am. I'm in the maroon car. I always wave at you when I drive by. I'm um, not sure who you are. Oh, wow. There are, actually wow. No house, there are actually no houses to the east of me, so that's why I was confused. Well, maybe you just don't know your directions. Which way do you think east is? Well, like, which, which, uh, um, which, which side of the sky do you think the sun comes up in? Um, this is a rather bizarre uh, phone call. What? Because my kid has peanut allergies? Are you calling my um, kid no, bizarre? I'll- I live the third street west of, Bar- I mean, the third house west of, Bar- and then there are no houses to the east beyond that. Well, what are the coordinates? Longitude and latitude. You, t- you, 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 you tell me. Well, I, well I, how would I know your coordinates? I'm just saying I'm up the road a bit. No, oh, there he goes. What a nice guy, though. He was actually going to set a bowl out for me until I started being kind of a dick. Hi, Keith. Hey Keith. Yes. It, it, it's uh it's Steve Dave. I I live here in your uh, in your, on your neighborhood down the street. And uh, Yes. And I I was just calling uh you know the trick or treating we're doing the trick or treating tomorrow. And my kids allergic to to anything with peanuts in it. So make sure you don't hand out anything with peanuts to any children. Okay, who is this? Uh my name is Steve Dave. I live just down the street a bit. What address? Three. I'm sorry. Uh, what What do you need to know my address for? Like, what, what do you? Because I, I don't what? recognize you. I want to make sure you have the right person. Oh no, I know. Who, I I got the right person, Keith. Yeah, just just okay. No peanuts. Nothing with peanuts for any children, because they might be allergic to okay. peanuts. Okay. Just maybe uh, I don't know. Bake something in the oven and hand those out. I know kids like that. Okay, I got another call coming in, so I appreciate it. Also, chocolate makes him fat, so could you not do anything with chocolate? <laughs> oh, now you're gonna laugh at my uh, fat. Right. Now you're gonna laugh at my fat kid. <laughs> really? I, I I got another call coming in. This but is, I appreciate it. This Thank is, you. This is funny. To you. They probably hung up already. You know, it's been it's been a minute. Come on, it's not a good excuse. You don't have to lie to me about having a call to hang up to say I don't want to. No, I, 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 I'm at. I, look, I don't lie. I'm at the airport trying to pick up somebody. So oh. I, I don't appreciate. That. Oh, that sounds like the biggest lie I've ever heard. At the airport, yeah, right. Says he's going to pick up somebody. How vague! I've used that excuse a billion times, but at least when I do it, you know, I, I'm specific about it. I tell them who I'm going to pick up, so they have no doubts about my lie. Yes. Hello, Doug? Yes? Hey, Doug. It's uh, Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. I live just down the street a little bit here on Beacon Hill. Hello? I'm listening. Okay, well, yeah, don't get an attitude with me. I was just going to say, you know... I don't have an attitude. I'm just not familiar with you, so I'm trying to understand. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're going to be trick-or-treating there tomorrow, and I don't want my kid to get fat, so could you not hand out anything at all that has chocolate in it? Or, or sweet stuff? Like, just no sugar. Like, if you have sugar-free chocolate? Okay, I can save you some time. Our front door is 80 foot back from the street, and the kids never come here for trick-or-treating. Oh, we're going to. We're, we're, we're going to every house on the street this year. It's well, like, they're, not gonna, they're gonna leave here empty-handed then. What, you're gonna, you're gonna be like that? You're not gonna give out candy to the kids? You know, you talk about attitudes, but this is really a, a pushing neighborliness to an uh, extreme. What? Well, my my kid has chocolate allergies. Well, that's fine. I think you should monitor your child very closely, but uh, I'm not going to monitor him. Well, I'm just saying, don't hand out anything with sugar in it, because sugar. I told you we're not going to hand out anything. Well, yeah, right. Anything with sugar in it. Please don't hand out anything with sugar in it. The sugar. You have a problem comprehending English. I. <laughs> Did he just mispronounce the word English?
Hello? Oh, he picked up and hung up. I was going to tell him, you know what? Forget it. We're not even coming to your house this year. Take that. But you know what? I'm going to trick him a good one. I'm going to call from a different phone number. See if he picks up. Oh, and I'm going to use the voice oh. changer. Oh, crap. Got to switch it. Down to here. That's no good. I don't know how I sound in this thing. Hello? Hello, uh, Mr. Hess? Hello? Yes? Uh, this is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm calling you from the International Space Station. Up in space, you know? Sir? Hello? Doug? Okay, he's gone. I think I turned it down too low. I sounded like a kidnapper or something. Oh, well. Hello? Hello, uh, Mr. M- Mr. Wandry? Yes. Hi there. This is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm I'm actually calling you from the uh, the International Space Station up in space. Okay. And, and um, there's kind of a problem. It's like our the space station. You know, it's rotating around the Earth, and um, it, it's like when we go over your house in the evenings, like your Halloween decoration lights are too bright, and it, it's fucking with our instruments. Do you think you could turn those down just a tad? Nah, there's no no volume on it, bro. No volume on the lights. It's full blast. That that sucks, you know. Like you're 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 messing with science, and you need to cut it out. Well, gonna have to get some sunglasses. No, it's not it's not us so much. You know, we can shut the blinds up here. It's just the uh, the, it's messing with the sensors and all that, you know. All right. So, you know, don't... Can you just turn them off in the evenings, maybe? Mm, Yeah. You got it. I just watched somebody slip their car on the freeway, so... That'd be great. Like... I can't really understand anything you're saying because you use, you know, Cricket or Boost or something. But... (laughs) Thanks for calling. I I think... I'll do what I can to help you out, bro. Okay. Thanks, Chief. Hey, how'd you get my number? Ah, we're the International Space Station. We can do anything. Durr. Okay. Durr. <laughs> okay, well, What's your name again? have a nice day. This is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm up in space. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Tuck. Have a nice day. Those space station calls, they always go so well. People always believe me. I'm so glad I used up one of Roland's numbers on that. And speaking of Roland, he says that I really have to do true green calls on on these numbers. And I've called most of these before and they didn't answer. But I'm getting more answers today than I did last time. So maybe I should do a few true green calls. At least a couple. Because I don't want Roland to get pissed at me. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you have reached this recording in... Well, that's weird, because I have a note on here that I tried to call this one, you know, whenever I did this list before, probably a month or two ago, and there was no answer. It just said, did not answer. It didn't say disconnected. I would have crossed it out if it was disconnected. So, I guess, moment of silence, everyone. This person in the past couple months has died. We're sorry, this person is dead. Please hang up and give a moment of silence. Message PLA. Hello? Hello, Scott? Yes? Hey, thank God you answered. This is Steve Dave from the Royco Lawn and Tree Service. We accidentally sprayed your grass a few days ago. We were supposed to do your neighbors. Yeah. And uh, I just needed to let you know about that. And, you know, sorry, we didn't mean to spray it. The the customer just transposed some digits, so we did your house instead. There's there's no transposing digits. I don't know what you're talking about. We're, We're 46, and... There's no 64. Well, whatever, you know, I'm just saying, we accidentally did your lawn. You don't have to get upset. I'm, I'm apologizing. No, but I, ju- I, just, I just did my lawn myself, so now we do a, did a double, so. Well, well I didn't do... Are, are, you, are you serious? This is a joke, right? Oh, no, it wouldn't be a joke. Um, it, it's like a treatment. It's, it's like a Halloween treatment. It's, it's supposed to turn the grass a shade of orange and black. So has your lawn started to change yet? Because I know some people can mistake that for their grass just turning dead. Um, you know... You're very funny. I don't know who the fuck you are, but you're a, you're a very funny person. What? And you should you should go fuck yourself. Because because I'm funny. 
Oh, holy crap. What was that about? <laughs> I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to charge him. That's it. He gets charged. Hello. We can't come to the phone right now. Hey, Scott. Scott. Ah, okay. One more try. Just one more. Hello. We can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for calling. Well, that's it, Scott. I'm just for the attitude. I'm I'm charging you. I'm gonna send you a bill because we wasted all this chemical in your lawn, and then you have to be a big jerk about it and curse at me. And I'm a Christian. I don't appreciate it. So, so you know, be looking for that bill. Thirty-five dollars. Take that. All right. Have a nice day. Goodbye. I wonder how he knew it was a joke. I thought it sounded completely legit, but he saw right through my bullshit somehow. Orn. Hi, uh, Orn. Yes. Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm I'm with Royco's uh, Tree and Lawn Service, and we accidentally sprayed your lawn this uh, you know over the weekend. We were supposed to do your neighbors, and we accidentally sprayed yours instead. What did you spray with? I'm sorry. Who are you with? I'm um, I'm with Royco's Tree and Lawn Service. And yards. Oh, and, well, what, what did you spray it with? Um, well, it's it's a it's a chemical. Um, it's it's they were they were doing it because they're like a you know into Halloween. It, it turns your yard kind of orange. It like it turns the grass kind of an orange color over time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is a practical joke. <laughs> no, why would you? <laughs> no, this? no, this is completely serious. This, people do this all the time. You've never seen someone spray their lawn for Halloween. It's just a temporary thing. It it only lasts, and you know. <laughs> Whose house were you doing? Uh, it's someone down the street. They they're also on a road, but they're you know a little ways down. You, you've probably seen their lawn. If you drive up there, you'll see it. They have an orange and black lawn. Like the grass is orange oh. and black. So you sprayed my lawn, the front and back, orange. Yeah, yeah, the entire thing. It's gonna turn like it takes a few days to take effect. You know, we just did it over the weekend. But, you know, in the next, uh, probably by tomorrow at least, it's going to turn orange and black with a hint of yellow. It basically looks like uh, candy corn. So um, Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to grow some. I'm trying to seed some areas. I just, had, just paid a lot of money to do that. Oh. Uh, is that going to affect any of that? Uh, well, no promises, and but I don't really think... I really want my lawn to turn orange either. Yeah. Well, no, it's, it's cool because it's Halloween. Well, what, People... When did you guys recognize this? <laughs> when did you realize that? Oh, the the person that we were supposed to do, they they got mad because it wasn't turning orange yet. Like, has yours started to turn at all? What address did you do? Your yours, the the Ford Road. And which house did you were you supposed to do? Ah, uh, I I don't have the work order form here here with me, and I couldn't give that to you anyway because, yeah, I mean, you could be an identity thief or something. But I mean, if you just drive, I could be an identity thief. Yeah, I don't know. Like, why, why are you trying to get? I could be get... an identity thief. You're calling me out of the blue, telling me you put some chemicals that I didn't authorize you to put on my lawn. Yeah, it was an accident. I explained that. It's it's... Na- Actually, it's the neighbor's fault because they wrote the wrong address down on the form. But all right. Well, let me talk to my wife. I mean, if it turns orange, uh, we probably need to have another conversation. <laughs> well, I don't see why we would. It's not a big deal. It's like a standard Halloween thing, even though you think it's a big joke. I mean, you know, it's not. A, it's not a big deal. I'm assuming this is a joke call. <laughs> I, I don't. Uh, let I don't, me call you back. Look, I'm 44. I don't do joke Sorry? calls. I I don't do joke calls. So I don't know why you're laughing at me. And you know, I think just because of your attitude, I'm going to go ahead and charge you for the treatment. Thirty-five dollars. Sorry, I'm going to charge you thirty-five. I'm sending you a bill for thirty-five dollars. You are? Yeah, yeah. If you're going to be an asshole about it, I'm going to send you a bill. And why do you have to talk to your wife about it? Why do you have to clear everything through her? Don't have a mind of your own or something? No, I, uh, <laughs> because you've you've uh, put camera. I'm going to call the police department actually because you're for you're, what? you're doing things with. Uh, I'm going to actually call the police all right thank why? you why would you do that you're gonna waste their time waste everyone's time <sighs> all right let me stop him from calling the police i guess uh this is your i'm not available please leave a message and i'll call you back thank you hey orm look you don't have to call the police just because i pointed out that your wife wears the pants in the family i'm not really with a tree company i didn't touch your lawn i'm just a prank caller so, you know, you don't need to waste people's time just because you're angry that your wife is the man of the house. 
Okay, have a nice day. Bye. There we go. I tried to call him several times and he's not picking up now. But that should fix everything, right? I don't think he's going to call the police anyway. He knew it was a joke. But then he seemed convinced. So I don't know what he believed. The number you have dialed is not in service. Whoa. Please check the number. Another one. Rest in peace, Steven. I guess these people aren't necessarily dead. They all sound pretty young. But it's kind of weird that two different numbers now have been disconnected within the past couple months because this one also has a note on it that I called it and they didn't pick up. So clearly they're dead. They sold their answering machine in a, an estate sale. This is Brian. Oh, hello, Brian. Hello. Hi, this is uh, Steve Dave. Uh, I'm with. This is Brian. Oh, hey. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Who is this? Uh, this is Steve Dave. I was trying to tell you. I'm with. Who is this? I'm trying to tell you. You keep interrupting. I'm with Royco's Lawn Service. We accidentally sprayed your lawn. We were supposed to do your neighbor's lawn, and they put the wrong address down. So I'm just calling to let you know that we accidentally sprayed your lawn. Over so there. let me guess. You actually did something wrong, and you're going to be rude on the phone about it? Well, no, I wasn't being rude. You just kept interrupting me, and you, you're the one you being rude. You were being rude, sir. I wasn't interrupting you. I couldn't freaking hear you. Okay, well, see, there now, you go. You're using what the... crap did you spray on my lawn? Uh, it's a novelty thing. It's like uh, it turns your lawn orange and black for Halloween. But then it just kind of washes out in another week or so. So your lawn... Fucking kidding me? No, and please don't use the effing word with me. I, you it, sprayed my lawn yes. orange and black. Well, it, it's a chemical that's going to... It changes um, I suggest the, y'all go fix it. I'm going to sue the shit out of you. Oh, you're, about not, you're, you're not suing anyone because, you know, it was, an, it was an accident. The neighbor, he put the wrong address on. Because you sprayed my lawn. You went on my property and trespassed. And you deface my property. It's not trespassing. We have a work order. And you don't think I can sue you? No, I know you can't sue me. Not for me. Well, there you go, interrupting me again. What company are y'all with and what's your address? That's a number, boss, all that. Oh, I don't have to tell you shit. I'm just letting you know that we accidentally sprayed your lawn and I'm very sorry. It'll it'll wash out in just a few days. Wow. It's not a big deal. What company do you work for? Oh, oh, are you getting upset because you're being cursed at? It's weird. You were just cursing at me. I didn't think no, you'd care. No, I'm getting upset because you sprayed my lawn with some crap that you're telling me. It's not you're crap. you rude to me it's about not, it from the start. It's not so crap. Yeah, I have every right to be rude. Look, kids love it, you idiot. It's not crap. Everyone does this. It's like the newest. What's my address? Uh, What's my address? You don't know it? Okay, it's 8600 <laughs> Drive. 8600? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. The work That's order for That's not my form. address. Well, whatever. We definitely sprayed your lawn. You better not have. Oh, we did. When you, you get home, not have. When you I'm get home, it's, right it's going to be orange when you get home. And I hope you're pissed off. I hope you throw a big hissy fit about it. I hope you go in there and cry to your wife or something. Like, eh, my lawn. Eh, it's so <laughs> important. Oh my God! Wow! I know. I looked you up. It's sad. I it's, know it's, it's exactly sad what, what you're like. You work for now. So. Oh, you've already looked me up. How'd you look me up? It sounds like you're full of shit. Do you also have a tracer on the line? Is that what you're going to say next? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Look, what else do you want to tell me? I was just calling to apologize. That's all. You're the one that had to be a dick about it. But you said it, you were rude from the beginning. And no, I couldn't hear you. No, you were rude. Because you're, you're claiming like you couldn't hear me or something when you could hear me just fine. I couldn't hear you. That's why I kept asking what, sir? That's what people do when they can't hear people. Well, if you apologize, I'll start being nice. So go ahead and apologize. I am not apologizing to you for spraying my lawn. No, not for that. That's ridiculous. J- just for being an asshole on the phone, not for the no, lawn No, I'm part. not apologizing for anything. But I want to get something straight. You said 8,600. <laughs> that's still not my address. I know. I, I read the wrong one. And now I'm not going to correct myself because I, I, don't, I don't owe you anything. Whatever. You oh, know? my God, dude. You seriously have issues. No, you have issues. You're like, calling me and this you is can't nothing. even get the address correct. This is a scam. You're getting pissed off over nothing. How would this be a scam? What? Me calling what? To- Yeah, I'm getting pissed off because you defaced my lawn. It's just I mean, a lawn. What, did you actually expect me to be happy about this? No, that's why I was calling to apologize and let you know that it'll just wash out in another week. You but just, you're let just- me see. You called to apologize, but you were rude about it. No, I wasn't rude. You're you're the one that was rude and cursing at me.
You were never rude. Nope, not once. I you record. Were never rude. I recorded the entire call, and I was not rude. Great. What are you going to do? Sue me now because I'm mad because I, you freaking defaced my yard? No, I'm not going to sue you. I'm just congratulations. I, I, I'm, I'm just you, you recorded the phone call. Yeah, oh my god! I have a YouTube Which channel. That was probably bullshit. I have a YouTube channel called what called Ass- do you work for? I have a YouTube channel called Asshole Customers, and you're going to be featured on it. What company do you work for? I'm not telling you now. Well, what company do you work? Well, for? you already know. You said you're you, not you traced telling it. me what company you work for. Oh, I did, and you said you already figured what it out and traced it. Do you work for? You checked it out and said ex- you figured what out exactly. What company do you work for? Uh, I work for. G and C lawn repair. That's what it is. That's that's the name. G and C lawn repair. Here in and so somebody ordered it this, but you're not calling from. Yeah, it was a normal person that ordered it. You know, someone that doesn't you know that doesn't hate Halloween and doesn't get pissed off. You know, just because someone calls to apologize. It's so funny that you actually thought this conversation was going to go, oh, you know what? Thanks for spraying my my lawn that I didn't ask to be sprayed, orange and black. If you were nice, I would have given you a coupon for like money off. I think money I have off. the right. A coupon for what? Like I'm ever going to use a company, one, that can't get the address correct, and it's pretty dang straightforward that somebody is going to be mad if you spray the wrong one, and two, they have an asshole for an employee. I mean a coupon, like you know, because we're going to send mean, you a bill for you, this. And w- I was going to give no, you, I was gonna, you're going to need more than a coupon. Trust me. No, well, you, you know, are going to need much more than a coupon. It's thirty five dollars. I was trying because to give you, you like what, what's my address again? You said eighty six hundred. You said you said it wrong. Then what's the address? Oh, I don't have to tell you shit, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, you don't have to tell me shit, motherfucker. Wow. Hey, good job repeating Dude. me. You're on a roll. Is that what you do when you don't know what to say? You just oh, repeat. Oh, now I'm, I'm playing repeating game? How old are you? Hey, look, you just repeated about how I said you were repeating. That's funny. How old are you? I am 44 years old. I've had this business for 23 years. Well, and... you act about 20. <gasps> I am when not you, 20. Y'all made a mistake, Take and you're that. taking it out on me. No, I'm not taking it out on you. You're, you're just being an asshole. You so. do realize, uh, it doesn't matter. I've got video cameras at the house. I can get license plates, all that. Oh, we so. cover our license plates before we do any job. Just because of people like you. There he goes. He hung up. I think he's running to the computer to check on his security cameras, see what my license plate is. And wow, that was actually the last number on the list. That was the last one I was going to do today. That's another guy that didn't pick up the last time I did this. And I'm going to hold on to this list. There's still a few numbers that haven't picked up. And Roland is promising me that some of them will be amazing. He put notes next to certain ones, mostly the ones that I can't get to pick up. So thank you for the list, Roland. That was fun, especially that last guy who not only hates Halloween, but hates America. Throws a big tantrum just because we're going to turn his lawn into candy corn. And you know what? On, On the beginning of the call, like it says on here that his name is Bryce. But I thought he said this is Brian. So that's why I said Brian. Then he said Bryce. That was very confusing. It seemed like there was a delay during the entire call. On the most recent Hobo Sode, I did some uh, silent auction numbers that Incognito sent me, and one of them answered, one of them didn't. The guy that answered was only, you know, mildly amusing. So I'm hoping this other guy answers now. I've already called him a couple times this morning. He's not picking up. Hello. Hello, Roger. Speaking. Hey there. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the Hampton. You won this auction thing for this this dumb sports memorabilia stuff, you know? Right. For 165. Right. And um, I just needed to let you know, like, you know, it's the, the LeBron, the the block thing. Right. And um, you can't have that item unless you uh, swear to stand. And uh, you, I need you to stand up and do the Pledge of Allegiance for me. Like, we're not going to ship it out unless you do the Pledge of Allegiance right now. And you know all the words, you know. Oh, oh, look who hates America. I'm sure he won't pick up. I've called him like a billion times before he finally picked up. I think that was my one and only chance. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Oh, oh, I see you don't know the Pledge of Allegiance. What, do you hate America or something? What do you want the LeBron the Block thing for if you hate America? It doesn't make sense. Not to me anyway. 
Anyway, okay, um, I guess we won't ship it. Have a nice day. Bye. Yeah, and I have no idea what the reference is to... I, I don't know who LeBron is. I don't know what his backstory is and why someone would need to do the Pledge of Allegiance if they liked LeBron. Sorry, Incognito. I tried my best, but, you know, sometimes they just don't work out. Hey, Roy. This is George. Hey, um, George. I was, um, this is my first time calling. I was wondering what you were doing special for uh, episode 420. Um, oh. If you had any 420 themes going around that and Probably um, not. had an idea for your next... I think I mentioned this in episode 404 that I probably wouldn't be doing anything um, for episode 420 due to my five-year ban on marijuana. Coin design. Um, I this makes me feel bad, you know. I saw you before, before episode 400, back when you were doing the coins. Uh, and trying to find ideas for them, but it would have been sweet to have a episode 400 coin um, or uh, I would love to purchase an episode 420 coin. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Or if I'll just wait for episode 450 Let me go grab 500. 700 bucks real quick and order a new batch of coins. But I really appreciate you. Your Aww. Shows. Uh, I appreciate you, George. Shows uh, keep my drive nice and sweet. I appreciate it. All right, love you, fuck boy. Thanks, George. What a nice voicemail. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll try and do something 420 related for episode 420. Damn these episode numbers, though, making me do extra work and stuff. Ain't no sunshine Think when Brad's that. gone. No one's asking PLA. Ain't no sunshine when Brad's gone. Hear that it's sunshine? always gone too long. Anytime the FBI raids. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I said, leave that Brad alone. Cause ain't no sunshine when Brad's gone. What a nice song from an unknown number. Thanks, whoever did that. Uh, hello. Uh, the only reason why I'm calling in right now is because someone left a voicemail claiming the username Gex. Uh, well, I'm here to claim the username Gex Colo. Oh, that sorry, is my name. Dex. Did uh, he say Dex or did he say Gex? I wasn't sure about that uh, one. It might be a little bit hard to get us confused uh, because of the difference in the voice. Um, but I, I want you to know that I'm, I'm out here for you, uh, Gex. Um, I, I'm the real Gex. Anyway, Watch out, uh, Gex. I'm listening through. I thought he said Dex. Uh, your your uh, the phone show right now, and I wanted to know why is it that you do not have uh, guests uh, on your show anymore? I don't know. Why Nobody is, calls in. It's just you. Why I have the call in line. Nobody ever uses it. It's not my fault. You're so alone, Brad. Yeah. Uh, I really like the loner. format that you did for a while. Where a rebel you would just call random people Daddy. and just have them like leave them on the show. I wanted to know, like, why don't you do that anymore? Are you just, yeah. like, tired of the format? Or do you just, like, not like uh, being uh, funnier? I just, I, I don't like not being in control of my own show. I can't handle having all the other people on, derailing my show. No, really, I don't know. It's just a different show now. Phone show's gone. Now it's the Snowplow Show. And I had my computer all set up here just a few weeks ago, uh, you know, able to take Skype calls and telephone calls at the same time, and, and I could bridge them together. It was so high-tech. And then I added this new piece of equipment in there, and that's just fucked everything up. It doesn't work anymore, so now i got to figure it all out again. You wouldn't think it'd be that hard, really, to keep all this stuff working, but I guess it is for me. But I guess the main reason is I just don't do live shows as much as I used to. Like, you know, the, the phone show, I always claimed that that was not a prank call show, especially the first year or two. I would tell people this isn't a prank call show, even though we did prank calls pretty often, pretty much almost every episode. But it wasn't supposed to be a prank call show. It was supposed to be a call-in show. But I like doing the pre-recorded thing instead of the live thing a lot of times. So that's the main reason. It's hard to take live calls on a pre-recorded show. Roy fought the law in the... Law one. Wow. Roy fought the law. Voicemail is just a bunch of people singing. Law one. He needed numbers, so he got some. Roy fought the law in the law one. Nice. Very catchy. Thanks for that. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't played prank calls by other people. And I've got this one in here from Rev, where he fucks with a scammer. And I bet it's funny. Let's find out. Oh, this is hard to listen to. Recorded this on a potato. Okay. 
so they're going to fix Rev's problem. Yes, I'm the main owner. So if you don't know what's going on, it's one of those, you know, scammers from another country. They get you to uh, turn on the remote part of your computer so they can get in there and install their wacky malware stuff, whatever they do. Yes. Okay, now look at your keyboard. In the left and down bottom corner of the keyboard, do you see the CTRL control key? Don't do it, Rev. Yes, do. It's a trick. Don't the do it. Key, which key do you see? I see the Windows key. Yeah. Press and hold down the Windows key along with letter R, as in Romeo. Both I'm going to do this. Time. Windows R. Okay, let me look. Ooh. Type in the name of a program a holder. Key. Not, uh, not Romeo key, letter R. You said Romeo key. No, I said that face and hold on the window key along with letter R. I heard him. Romeo. He said Romeo. Yeah, you said, you said Romeo key. You said Romeo key. Oh, sorry, sir. Uh, face the R, uh, window and letter R. Okay. Windows. Did you guys hear a bunch of these guys got shut down recently? I think in India. They like arrested a bunch of people. It's awesome. I see. I see the lid, windows and letter R. I still don't find the Romeo key. Not Romeo key, sir. As in Romeo. I told that as in Romeo. Okay, the as, as in. in Romeo. I told that. All right. Okay. I'm looking for the as in key. Yeah. Okay, I can't find the. Are you joking? But I'm are you joking with me. I, I think I, you are joking with me, but I am not joking with you. It's a serious call about your computer. And if you don't believe me that I am from Windows Technical Department, we have your computer license ID number, the unique license ID number, which is provided by the Microsoft Windows. And only two person know, only two person knows this license ID number. The owner of the computer knows it, and the Windows server knows it. And I'm gonna show you the license ID number from my end and tell the license ID number. Like this is gonna prove everything, Rev. You're gonna feel stupid now. Let's do that. Place and hold down. Place and hold down the windows and later on. Okay, but that's. <sighs> what do you see now? I see the registry screen. What? Uh, do you see the run ball? Yeah. That is a really noisy call center. Holy shit! What do you see in that box? I see a bunch of writing. What? I see a bunch of writing. A bunch of letters. Do you see the run box? Do, yeah. do you see the run box? I do see the run box. Okay, in the in the middle of the run box, do you see open? Yes. And beside open, there is a long panel where you type something. Okay, are you gonna give me the Windows key? No. Oh yeah, what happened to that? Is the panel empty or something typed in there? It's empty, but you're gonna give me the Windows key to make sure that you're for Windows. Microsoft. Uh -huh. Durr. I gonna give you your computer license ID number. Right. In the in the panel, right down there, see as in Charlie. Okay, I'm looking for the Charlie key. I think you're joking with me, but I'm not joking with you, okay? I'm here to help you. No, you're joking, because first you say Romeo, and then you say Charlie, and I, I don't have those keys on my keyboard. Sir, I, I know that, that you don't have those keys. Then why do you tell me that? Now type the CMD, okay? Okay, CMD. Yep. Hold down okay Windows from your while you push CMD. I don't see an OK button nowhere. Click on OK. I think I got a different. Type I think I got a different computer than you. No. It's one of those computers with Paris talk on it. And Charlie keys, and I don't have those keys. I know that there is no Charlie key. Okay. Well, you you told me Charlie key. I'm not telling, told you the Charlie key. I told you the C as a Charlie. Okay, <laughs> not a Charlie key. See, you just you told just me said it again. The Charlie key. I think you are joking with me. Okay. I think I'm you're joking, joking with me. You. It's a serious call. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm being Don't serious. That, if, if, if you think that I'm joking with you, just hang up the call. Okay. I wonder if that's the same call center they were harassing on the Reply All podcast. Some call center out there, they busted them though. They like arrested some ringleader or something, shut down a call center, put a ton of people out of business. So now they have to like go out and find new call center jobs. I think I read about that just recently. So sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Rev, but you're going to have approximately like 1.5% less of those calls coming in from now on. You're going to have less people to screw with when they call you. 
Looks like Rev just screws with scammers on his YouTube page. It's youtube.com slash Rev B E E J. That's B as in B B Q. E is an I. No, I'm too lazy to do all that. Just go to the show notes. I'll link it in there. And speaking of Rev, I saw like on the Amazon page recently, for some reason I was on the Amazon page for the Phone Losers book, that he left a review on the PLA book, said he thought he's ordering a phone booth, got a book instead, very misleading, but gave me five stars because he wants to be a technical writer too. I think that's the only review I've gotten on the PLA book this year. But holy shit, there's a bunch of them back in November of last year. I must have been begging you guys to leave reviews last year. My phone company forced me to buy this book for $30 by automatically charging it on my bill. I ended up reading it and was pleasantly surprised. That one's from Lion4 back in November of 2016. Holy shit, on the day of the raid on my house? Coincidence? I think not. We now know who to blame. What else can I do on today's show besides actually make prank calls before we get out of here? I guess I could look through the emails, read an email or two. I've got an email here from Ashley telling me about the last Blockbuster um, Twitter account. And I kind of think I mentioned the last Blockbuster Twitter account before. I'm pretty sure I have. It's a fake Blockbuster account. And they claim to be the last Blockbuster in existence. And their tweets are hilarious. Like the most recent one, it says, Can you guys not sit down on the bench out in front? It's not that type of bench. I'm not sure what that means. It's really sad that our colorblind customers will never be able to fully enjoy our logo. That's hilarious, making fun of people who can't see properly. Teehee. Here's one from October 19th. We know that renting is complicated and frightening, but that's why we're here, to walk you through the horrifying process. I don't know, I love this Twitter account. Everyone should subscribe to it. Twitter.com slash Lone Blockbuster. I'll put a link in the show notes for that, which I'm sure I've done at some point in the past. Why have I not ended the show yet? What the hell? I blame Gobi, the sponsor of today's show. Thanks a lot, Gobi. Gobi, Gobi. I'm going to read one more email. This is an informative one. This is educational. It's from August 31st. This one is from Adam. He says, in the Distraction Services episode from May 4th, 2017, at 8 minutes 31 or 32 seconds, a recipient said, as alakum to you. And once again, you were confused. That is Arabic for peace be unto you. And I sort of remember that. Sort of. But not really. But sort of. If any of us was confused, now we know. I mean, you don't know how to pronounce it because I'm sure I just did that wrong. as alakum Is that how you say it? Here, let me type it into YouTube and see what YouTube tells me. When we say as alaikum, the enough. words as alaikum is not like hello or how are you doing. Yeah, come on. When somebody says Get to the point. salam, that's not like saying goodbye or see you later. Hallelujah. The words assalamu alaikum means may Allah's peace be with you. There we go. And whenever someone gives See, him. See, Adam wasn't full of shit. He knows what he's talking about. He's watched that guy's YouTube before. Thank you for the information, Adam. I think it's time to end this show. It's just going downhill. I got to end it. Thank you, Gobi, for sponsoring the show today. Thank you, everyone else, for listening to the show. If you enjoy the show, then you should support the show at patreon.com slash phone losers. Be sure to go check out the show notes on phonelosers.com. It has links to most of the things I talked about in today's episode. Probably. I think I linked everything. Add PLA on Facebook, facebook.com slash phonelosers. And on Twitter at twitter.com slash phonelosers. There's two YouTube accounts. You figure out where they are. There's links in the show notes somewhere. Just click on everything until you happen across it. I'll see you all next time. I'm going to end today's show with a Halloween song by Froggy Fresh. Ghosts, goblins, and monsters. 